guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to be sharing my DIY painted pumpkin topiary. So I was mostly inspired by this Mackenzie Child's pumpkin topiary, and I really love the look of the Harlequin or checkered print pumpkins. I think that Harlequin checkered print is definitely having a moment right now. So all the pumpkins I picked up were from Hobby Lobby and at 40% off. So I'm starting here with my pumpkin that is second from biggest. Full price was $18. It is just plain white. And I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint to paint some stripes on here. So since these are being stacked, the first thing I did was just take out the stem. And using a pencil, I just lightly drew my lines to follow as I painted. I basically just followed the natural curvatures of the pumpkin. I wanted to make sure everything was even and then I marked each stripe that would be black with a B. This Waverly chalk paint you can pick up at Walmart. It's got such great coverage so I only had to do one coat. I went in with a flat finer tip brush to make the edges as crisp as possible. They're definitely not perfect and then went in with a larger size brush to fill in those thick stripes. So my strategy with painting all these pumpkins was to paint the top sections of them first, let that dry, and then flip them over and do the bottom. So that's what I did here. All right, and now I am moving on to the next pumpkin that will stack on top of the striped one which is another white one that was $6.99, again, 40% off. So this is the one that I knew I was gonna be doing a Harlequin print on, which was a little bit intimidating for me since the pumpkin surface is not perfectly flat. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get a perfectly symmetrical print on here. What I ended up doing was cutting out some squares using vinyl and sticking those all around the middle section of the pumpkin as evenly as possible for just kind of like a starting point that can be symmetrical. And then I hand drew in the rest of the squares as best as possible. But to me, there's a very fine line between it looking, you know, classy and timeless versus very NASCAR. So I think it has to be done carefully. And I chose to do orange over black just to do something a little bit more unexpected. So basically the only perfectly symmetrical squares on the pumpkin ended up being the ones that were stenciled with the vinyl. And then the rest almost kind of shift into a diamond shape. So after that dried, I peeled all the little vinyl squares off. And then on a whim, I decided I was going to glam these pumpkins up. I had no intentions initially of doing this, but I grabbed my favorite gold paint and lined all the colored edges of the pumpkins, with this beautiful metallic gold. So as you can see here, I did the edges of all the black and white stripes. And I didn't film it, but I also went back in and did it to the Harlequin checkered print pumpkin as well. So now moving on to the last pumpkin. It is the big bottom one. Again, Hobby Lobby, full price, $34.99. And it's kind of hard to see, but I lightly sketched out a jack-o'-lantern face on here to paint over. And again, just used my black chalk paint. I actually had no idea what I wanted to do with this pumpkin. I didn't know if I wanted to do another pattern, leave it plain orange, or do a jack-o'-lantern face. And I don't know, just with the fun patterns, to me, it just it needed a jack-o'-lantern face. So that's why I decided to do it. Of course, you could do anything that just suits your style. And then again with my gold paint, I went in and outlined some of the details in the jack-o'-lantern face to give it a little bit of dimension. I really love the way that ended up looking. 
And then I just used regular hot glue to glue the stack of pumpkins together. So I initially intended this topiary to only be three pumpkins high, but I found this tiny pumpkin pick at Michael's just the other day and thought, oh my gosh, this would be perfect on the very top of my topiary. And I actually love how it ended up looking. And because I want the option of being able to put this outside, I took all my pumpkins into my garage and gave them a light coat of some clear spray paint to seal in the chalk paint to make sure it doesn't get any chips over time. And here's what the topiary looks like, finished, styled inside. I put it on my entryway table just to show you guys what it would look like. And here is how it looks outside on my front porch in my black urn, which is exactly what I was intending to do. I love how it looks. I put some faux leaves in there as well, and it goes perfectly with my DIY Halloween wreath I recently made. I'll have that video linked below if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button down below if you like DIY home decor videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.